All right, hello. This is uh, Advanced Hammer. Uh, this tutorial, I will teach you guys how to make a uh, zombie survival map with waves that include texts um, that have uh, songs added to them, and um, you know the real deal, or whatever. Um, okay, first of all, I'm gonna delete that real quick. First of all, uh, just create a player. We're going to want to create a button uh, to activate all of this. So, make a button over here. We'll control T, go up here, funk button. We'll name this uh, button. Oops, button. Alright. Now, we move over here, bring our player. We name him. Okay, yeah. Uh, NPC template maker. Okay, we want this this NPC template maker to be round one, wave one. All right. Now, when you first make your first little template here, you're going to want to make sure it's disabled. Uh, you want to fade corpse because it'll get laggy if you don't. Um. Uh, destination group uh, you need a generic spawn unless you want to get complicated with it uh, we'll just uh, make this one spawn one visible to player typically you don't want to really get too much into that um, radius that's fine uh, mats NPCs this means how many NPCs do you want out of uh, this uh, NPC template maker onto the spawn. So, uh, for example, let's make a NPC template. Oh wait, sorry. Info spawn. God, I forgot it. Hold on. Spawn. Okay. Info NPC spawn destination. We'll name this spawn one and refuse uh, reuse delay is uh, how many seconds you want uh, to make the, another uh, zombie or whatever to spawn at this uh, particular uh, destination point so we'll, um, we'll control Xs and then control V and uh, three different spots over there alright so we got our spawn one hooked up uh, our template NPC will name this uh, zombie one Oops. Zombie one, and then we'll go to Matt's lives is uh, three because we have three spawn points. You can miss with this. Um, there's really not many ways you can actually miss up the map or anything. Uh, might just not work right if you miss with it too much. But um, Matt's and PCs, that's good. Frequency, uh, how many seconds you want uh, for the other one to appear. Um, Typically, if you want a fast-paced game, you want 0 0.5, but on this map, I'm just going to go with uh, 3, I guess 2, three, uh, 2 is good, uh, number of NPCs until it's exhausted. Now, we want, um, I guess, 10. Usually, you want it about, like, 20 or 30 for each wave, I guess. That's a good, reasonable amount, but uh, higher in your game, you can make it get higher and higher. Alright, now, we are missing a few things. Uh, let's go to our template. So, make another guy, NPC, fast, zombie, okay, we, uh, we, we assigned his name as zombie1, uh, target path corner, and group, most of this stuff you don't really have to miss with, but there is one major thing right here, template and PC, if you want this whole thing to work, this is the one thing you want to check. Uh, long visibility that can only help them to uh, uh, chase after your your player drop health kit uh, I do not recommend it, this uh, you can do it if you are only going to have a few zombies but uh, eventually your map will be cluttered by a bunch of drop kits or drop health kits whatever um, yeah that's good zombie okay yeah that's good Alright, now create another guy, 
Now this is what's going to help the zombie chase after the player. So we'll put AI scripted schedule. Alright, now we'll just put that next to the zombie. We'll name this uh, AI seeker 1. And target NPC. This is zombie 1. Search radius. Uh, zero, sometimes that doesn't work, so we'll just put like a billion. All in radius, yes. That is a major thing you want to make sure that it's yes. Um, set to state uh, at combat, yes. You want them to run to goal entity. Uh, you want them to stop at death. And goal entity is exclamation mark player. Alright. Once you have this hooked up with everything, there is a few more things you have to do. Um, one of the things is you have to go to on spawn NPC, on spawn NPC, AI Seeker 1, start schedule. So every time this thing spawns, after you press this button, every time this spawns, it'll start this schedule that'll make this zombie up here a bunch of times over here wanting to chase after your player okay now you gotta make it where it activates so go to the button on pressed round one wave one and able all right now our uh, now our second thing is that we have to do is to make this uh, continue so if we want this to continue, instead of just throw three NPCs at us uh, ten times, uh, is to make, just copy that, and rename it to round one, wave two. Press enter, and apply. Alright, now this is completely fine, but there is something missing. The player won't notice it, so we'll need to add a game text. Alright. Now this is the way I like to do it. Um, round one, wave one. We'll name this a uh, text. Round one, wave one. Uh, we might want to make it the duration about five seconds. And color, red's a good color for zombie survivals. Okay, so. We'll make that right there, so uh, when you first look at it, you can see that this goes before this. So, when this is pressed, on pressed, text round one, wave one, display. So, once you press that, displays a text, displays this, and if you want it to go off to this one, we're going to have to make on all spawn dead, on all spawn dead, round one, wave two, and able. Now sometimes players like little breaks between their killings and everything, so we'll probably want to add, um, what is it, five seconds, I guess? Five seconds is a good time. And we'll want to add another text. Now it can't be named the same thing because it's not the same wave, so i just uh, round one, wave two on the message text and go up here and just rename it. Easy as that. Alright, and on all spawn dead, paste, just copy and paste that so it'll be easier. Uh, so, and then display. Sorry if I'm getting a little complicated. On all spawn dead, round one, wave two, which is this. So, basically what it does, when you press this, goes here, gets that, text, displays that, shows the zombies, makes them appear over there, chases a the player with this zombie template, and once all those ten zombies die, which there's only three allowed, it can go over here, display this text, show this uh and, and like make this round of zombies start 
Now, typically in games, it gets harder and harder. So we'll want to 